welcome back in this tutorial i am going to find out whether the number is prime or not so i will make a flow chart for this the flow chart will check whether the number whether the number we will assign into the flow chart is prime or not so we have to read any number and we have to check whether the number is prime what is prime number prime number is the number which is divisible by 1 and that number itself suppose we have a 5 we have to check whether the number is prime or not this 5 is only divisible by 1 so we can divide 5 by 1 only 1 5 is 5 and we can divide it by number only this number 5 will be divided by 5 only 1 and 5 only 5 1 is 5 remainder will be 0 in both cases but the numbers between 1 and 5 suppose 2 3 4 cannot divide 5 if if 5 will be divided by any of these numbers the number will not be prime this 5 will not be, then be prime but it is not divisible by these numbers so it is not a prime number so yes so sorry it is a prime number because it is not divisible by 2 3 or 4 it is divisible by 1 and the number itself so what is the logic behind how can i find whether the number is prime or not suppose i have to uh, take any number suppose i will take 5 first i will divide it by I will not divide it by 1 because I know number prime number is divisible by 1. I will divide it by 2. 2 2 is 4. Remainder is 1. So it is not divisible. Exactly divisible by 2. Now I will try by I will give increment to this 2. I will make it 3. So I will do one thing. I will write again 5 3 3 1s are 3. Remainder is 2. Still it is not getting divisible divided by 3. Now I will increment this 3 by 1, it will become 4. I will divide 5 by 4. 4 1s 4. So till we get remainder 1 and it is not exactly divisible by uh, it is not exactly divisible by 4. Now I will give increment to this 4, it will become 5. So here I have to keep check whether 5 has become 5 now. We have I have tried 2, I have tried 3, I have tried 4. Now it has become number itself. So I have to stop here. So if it is if it becomes a number itself and it is not divided by any number less than this 5 and greater than 1 then it is prime it is said to be prime number now i will uh, draw a flowchart for this so first of all i will start here i have to read number first i have i will read and store it in x so after reading x i have to check uh, first of all i will declare some variable n is equal to 2 because i am starting dividing this number by 2 i have to see whether the 5 is prime or not i will start dividing it i will start it dividing i will not divide it by 1 because i know prime number is divisible by 1 so i will start by 2 that is the reason i have taken n as 2 and after that if not, if it did not get divided by this 2 I will divide it by 3 I will divide it by 3 so increment will be given to this n first of all I will check by this 2 I will divide by I will divide the x I will divide this x with this 2 if it is not divided I will increment this 2 and it will be 3 then again I will divide this by this x by this 3 again it will if it not, will not get divided I will increment this n it will become 4 again I will divide x by this number Again, if it will not get divided by this number, I will increment this n by 1 and it will become 5. But I have to keep check whether this has become 5 because x already I have mentioned x as 5. If x, if this 5 is equal to this, if x, I mean, if this x will become equal to this n and it is, it, it will not get divided numbers between 1 and this last number 5. Suppose I have divided it by 2, I have divided it by 3 and I have divided it by 4. If it will not get divided by these 3 numbers, these 3 numbers are those numbers which come between 1 and 5. Because we know this is divisible by 1, this is divisible by 5. But if it is not divisible by the numbers between 1 and 5, then it is prime number. So I will move forward. Now I have to check first whether the number I have taken whether this is equal to this n okay whether this number is equal to this n suppose if number is 2 suppose I have to check whether 2 is prime yes 2 is prime because it is not divisible by any other number it is divisible by 1 and 2 itself so if it is 
if the number if this x is equal to 2 then it is prime and I, I don't need to check whether it is prime or not if it is 2 then it is already a prime number so I have to write here if if x is equal to n so if x is equal to n what is n n is 2 if x is equal to 2 then I have to write here if it is no then I have to move forward if it is yes if it is yes then I have to stop and write where the number is prime number so I will keep this as it is till I will reach to the end where I have to print whether the number is prime or not so I will do one thing here I will write here at no condition I will write I will check whether the number is divided by n or not so in this case in this case in yes it is equal to 2 now if it is no then we are aware that this is not equal to 2 this may be 3 4 5 this may be any number but not 2 ok now we will check whether, suppose it is 5 we will check we will check whether this 5 is divided by this 2 divided by this n I will write here if x x is this 5 is divided by this 2 and the remainder is 0 how can I check whether the remainder is 0 there are two things there is divide and there is percent what is what does this divide mean and what does this percent mean suppose I have to divide 4 by 2 the answer will be 4 divided by 2 2 2 is 4 answer will be this 2 ok here answer will be this 2 but I have a but if I have a question 4 percent 2 what will be the answer answer will be this 0 sorry answer will be this 0 so percent means you have to find this remainder so in this case I have to find this remainder I have to check whether the remainder is 0 or not because see if this number if suppose 4 is divided by 2 2 2 is 4 what is the remainder remainder is 0 if this is 0 then number is not prime because it is divided by 2 number is not prime then so I have to check suppose I have this no number 5 2 4 2 2 is 4 and the remainder is 1 I have to check whether this remainder is 0 or not I will write here if x percent n is equal to 0 if x percent 10 is equal to 0 I will write it uh, clean I will write it here if x percent n is equal to 0 ok if x percent 10 is equal to 0 then number is not prime ok if x percent 10 is equal to 0 yes then not prime then we have to print number is not prime then we will print here not prime ok if it is no if it is not divisible so in this case it is not divisible by 2 this is this will not be 0 in this case suppose our case is this 2 divided by 5 so we have to find out this remainder 2 2 is 4 and it is 1 and we are at this no because it is 1 if it was 0 then we were at this case so we have to move forward if it is not equal to 0 then wh what we have to do we have to increment this 2 by 1 and it will become 3 so this 2 is holded by this n we will increment to n by 1 so n is equal to n plus 1 so it will become 3 unless and until it will become the number itself so I will increment it up to 4 but if it will become 5 then I have to stop because now it has become the number itself ok so now I will write it bold if I will write if if x is greater than n so in this case I will write here x is 5 n is initially 2 so 2 2 is 4 it is 1 now now what will I do I will increment this 2 by 1 it will become 3 so this 2 is less than this 5 this 2 is less than this 5 so n here 2 is less than x here 2 5 x is here 5 and n, n was here 2 so x was greater than this 2 that was true this 5 was greater than this 2 2 ok so I have to keep on repeating this thing I have to give increment to this n up to a level that if this will become 4 if this will become 5 
So after that, I will not have to further check whether because this number has become number itself. So at this position, n this is n and this is x. n is equal to x. It is not. It is not now like this. X is greater than n. No, x is now equal to n. So we can write it also like this. X is equal to n. This can be write, written like this. X is equal to n. So if x will be greater than n, then we have to keep dividing. If it is equal to n, five is equal to five. Then we have to stop. At this moment, we have to stop. At this moment, we have to continue. Okay. Now, if x is greater than n. Here x is greater than n. Here x is greater than n. Okay. This five is greater than n. Now x is greater than n. So if x is greater than n, then I have to repeat the things. I have to still I have to find again whether x is x percent n is greater than is uh, equal to zero or not. So at yes, at yes, I have to go here again, and at no, I have to print number is number is prime. Because at no. X will be equal to n. Five will be equal to five in this case. So after that, I have to stop. So here, this line, if x is equal to n, in this case, number was also prime. So I will move this towards this down position. It will come here and write where number is prime. Okay. Now I will. Try to make you understand this flowchart with the help of memory map. Try a memory map. Suppose this is our x, this is our number, and this is n. Suppose I have a number seven. Okay, so I I am reading this seven. I am reading this seven here. N n I am assigning two. Okay, if x is equal to n, is x equal to n? No. So I will move towards this no. If x percent n is equal to zero, if x percent n, so five percent two, two two is our four. That is equal to one. That is not equal to zero. So we will come towards this no. And sorry, if x x percent n is equal to zero, we will come towards this no. N is equal to n plus one. N will become three. Okay. If x is greater than n, x is still greater than this n. So it will move towards yes. At no, we will write go towards this. So I will move towards this yes. Still, again I will do again x percent n. Now n is three. Earlier it was two. Now it is three. We will divide seven by three and will find remainder. Three two is six and remainder will be one. Now. If x percent n is equal to zero, it is not equal to zero. It is equal to one. So no, n is equal to n plus one. N will become four. If x is greater than n, is x greater than n? Yes, it is still greater than n. So I will move towards yes part and will go again here. If x percent n is equal to zero, again I will find x percent n. For that I will erase this. So x percent n, x percent four, four one is our four, and remainder will be three. But this condition will become no condition because x percent n is equal to three. It is checking whether it is zero or not. So we will move towards this. N will become n plus one. It will become five. If x is greater than n, still x is greater than this n. So yes part. We will go here, and if x is x percent n is equal to zero, what is x seven percent? What is n this time? Earlier it was four, now it will be five. Five ones are five, and remainder will be two. It is not zero; it is two.
So again, we will move towards this no. N is equal to n plus 1. N will become 6. N will become 6. After that, I will erase this. N is 6 now. So again, uh, if x is greater than n, yes, x is greater than n. So yes, again, x percent n is equal to 0. I have to check x percent 6, 6, 1, 6, remainder is 1. So it is not again equal to 0, it is equal to 1. So we will move towards no part and n is equal to n plus 1. n will become now 7. Now it is checking whether x is greater than n. Now x is not greater than this n. It is equal to this n. 7 is equal to 7. So we are on no now. We are not on yes because x is not equal to, x is not greater than this n. It is this time equal. So we are on no part. At no, we are writing print number is prime. Earlier, we have written here, x. if x is equal to n, then it was only 2. That was also, 2 was also prime. So we have to write at that time also, we have to write prime, number is prime, and then we have to stop. 